Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can add a splice or any other drum loop into an Avenger sequence. So I'm using this one as an example. We've got future pop 100 BPM. When I play a chord it sounds like this. And that sounds great, but we can also add a splice or other drum loop in instead. So where it says drums here, I'm just going to click on mute. Okay, let me get the sequence without the drums and I'm going to add that drum loop now. So where it says plus here, I'm going to click on that and I'm just going to type in loop and I'm going to click where it says saw and then go to multi loops and just choose any loop. So factory steel guitar, steel guitar one and I'm going to go where the floppy disk icon is and choose new. This will remove all samples, are you sure? I press OK um, and it's fine, this sequence won't get deleted or anything. Um, so next I'm going to go to where it says plus and change that to fifth and where it says loop type I'm just going to choose drums and perk and then I'm going to load the drum loop and I need to load it for each of these. So it's quite time consuming but it's just something you have to do. So click here to load sample and I'll find that beat and I'm just going to go ahead and load that sample for each of these different notes. So before I do anything else I just need to turn off the mini chain effect because that's going to stop the drum from coming through. So if you look here it says out fx1 and that's switched on so I just need to turn that off and now when I play a chord we'll hear the drum loop okay so now there are just two more steps that we need to do first of all we need to save this loop here so where it's got the floppy disk icon, click on that and choose save as and then we're just going to call this Oliver loop because that's what this splice loop is called. It's one of the samples from the Oliver collection. Next I'm going to save the sequence. So where it says memory, I'm going to choose save as and then I'm just going to type in with Oliver loop and that's saved it here into my own category and if you want to make a category as well if you go to the home page just right click and choose create new customer expansion and that will give you your own folder where you can save your sequences. So hope you found this video useful and see you in the next one.